longer Probably go mad all by myself So what can I say about Chris, you know? Very special voice, uh, beautiful voice. Uh, I wish I had his voice. There was something very real and riveting. He was riveting. He wasn't just a great voice, he was a great voice and a great songwriter. It hits you in the gut and twists your insides. You knew when you heard growing up what it was about for Bruce, and you heard Bob in different periods of Bob's time, you knew it. And I just thought Chris was somewhere in that, could have been somewhere in that place. Getting thrown out of my pad once again. It was a series of Faustian bargains. Giving up a little bit of your soul for hopefully a piece of success. Our next guest has just recorded his first album. Look, I have it right here in CD format. It's called Living With The Law. The best new album of 1991. He begins in 18... People say, this guy's a genius, you know, almost as good as Leonard Cohen used to be, or, or you know, or, I mean, it's like, next Dylan. Chris wanted, wanted to continue playing his shows, and I'm sure he had to financially as well. Things began to fall apart in a lot of ways. I took this fucking thing and threw it off the fucking stage in the marquee. You know, in London. People are difficult, people are prickly, they show up late. But his music, you know, he's one of the greatest ever for me. Someday I will serve, someday. Chris never wanted to be in that game of success or failure. He wanted to be in the game of being a musician. <laughs> 